we're on target for the lowest number of homicides since records have been kept in Jersey City. Um, it's quite a significant accomplishment. Um, when we took office, on average, there was mid-20s in number of homicides per year. This year we are at 12. Uh, that is a very, very different trend than you've seen in cities across the country. Jersey City was the first city to adopt Vision Zero in the state of New Jersey. Um, the results speak for themselves. This will be the first year that Jersey City will record um, zero traffic deaths on the Jersey City streets. It's significant progress. We've made a large investment in the problematic intersections just based on the data more bump outs, more speed bumps, more road diets, and the results are clear, safer driving throughout Jersey City and ultimately saving lives. Some of the improvements that we've made over the past few years since we committed to Vision Zero include installation of over 600 speed humps, uh, restricting right turns on red lights at close to 200 intersections, a number of pedestrian plazas, street redesigns, protected bike lanes, and other uh, facilities for those vulnerable users, traffic signal upgrades, specifically prioritizing pedestrian crossings at unsafe intersections, and countless other measures that we've partnered with multiple agencies throughout the city on to achieve this goal. When we inherited the police department in 2013, the police department was 779 officers, majority of it was white. It didn't reflect the diversity of Jersey City. We set off on a path to diversify the police department to better reflect the city that it serves. We did that by some concerted recruiting efforts modeled after military and uh, helping people through the academy and making sure that they knew all the steps of the application process, studying and then getting through the academy. And uh, today we're at 924 officers. We uh, sworn a class yesterday of another 10 officers um, and today the city is the police department is majority minority better reflecting Jersey City and that is no small accomplishment and a testament to the City Council's commitment on this front the fire department today is at the largest levels it's been in the history of the fire department the last year was significant you've heard Chief McGill speak about this numerous times um, we've added companies we repurposed old companies We've changed the ranks and the supervision structure, enhanced supervision, um, and today the fire department um, is at the largest level it has ever been, and uh, we've been able to promote, again, there more diversity. We have our first female deputy chief, the highest ranking female in the state of New Jersey, promoted last month. Our last slide um, focuses on the budget and the budget growth. Um, and this will give you a little bit of a picture, it speaks for itself, from 2014 to 2022, where the investments are, more people, different type of personnel, more supervision, um, and this is really, as I said earlier, a thank you to the City Council for their unwavering support on that front.